This is DNN. Definitely not news. One letter better than CNN. Hi. Welcome to episode 70. Uh, if you'd like to get right to the headlines, just skip ahead a little bit. You'll see when I you know, start doing that. I'd like to make a couple of announcements first. For example, thank you very much to my friends Jasper Teen and Polaris for making music for me to use because I am not a musical man. No, I appreciate it. I am planning on doing a question and answer show as an extra edition sort of thing. And I'd like to have some questions to answer, so please submit questions in the comments or on Discord. Just tell me if they're for the Q&A, so that I can sort them into a document. When I get enough of them, I'll do that. Thanks. Also, I'm going to be doing milestone events for however many subscribers I have. Do something nice and stupid for an extra video. Because stupid is funny, as you can tell by the whole theme of why I do this thing. So... If you have any milestone events that I haven't thought of, you can submit your ideas as long as they don't hurt me permanently, and they won't hurt anybody else. And, you know, cool. Maybe I'll do them. Maybe I'll then do them on request if you get to the, if I get to a certain point. I have no shame. For example, when I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to wear a 3-3 on camera and prance around like an idiot because it's funny. Not meant to offend anyone. It's just because it would embarrass me. If you don't know what a three three is, it's a gigantic tutu. Also, at one thousand subscribers, I'm going to give away my Rodecaster, which is an audio processing device that's great for anybody who wants to do a podcast or a video thingy like I'm doing. Probably better quality if you're doing it though. So, don't forget to uh, submit other things if you want to as suggestions for a second and third prize for that draw when I hit a thousand. Because, you know, I'd like to reward the people for being showing the loyalty and sticking around. This ends the announcements. So therefore, let's get on with some, some news stories that are ridiculous and most of them are even true. Pornhub denies plan for a week of ebony videos only to show solidarity with the black community. Why would anyone think that anyone cares what they think? Honestly. No one cares what they think. Florida police organization offers to hire cops were fired or resigned over police misconduct elsewhere. Have they been paying attention? That completely misses the point of what's been going on lately. Are they stupid? Definitely don't want to go to Florida anymore. If they have all the cops in the country that have mis been uh, fired for misconduct, <laughs> okay into an inch of uh, my life for just talking to them because I'm not very nice to people who act like idiots in front of me. Oh, I can already feel the head bashing of me. Police search for teenager with autism at Mount Disappointment. Mount Disappointment. Oh, appropriately that name. I mean, it'd be the perfect place for a realistically expectations kind of uh, makeout spot, don't you think? Driver attempted to run over man who confronted him about reckless driving. Wow. Talk about proving his point. Has this guy ever considered a uh, way of expressing his temper that did not involve attempted vehicular manslaughter or anything like that I think he should lose his driver's license just a little bit and maybe be forced to apologize especially since the guy who got run over was probably in the hospital now that's expensive over there here it's free so anyone wants to be Canadian free mail free healthcare 
Well, mostly free. Still gotta charge you if you do something like, you know, surgery that doesn't involve saving your life. UK government's world beating coronavirus response is ranked the worst globally. Worse than Trump's? Wow, Boris, you suck. <laughs> For those who don't know, Boris is the name of Boris Johnson, current leader of the UK Parliament. And, uh, big moron who wants Brexit to happen. Worst guy in politics ever over there. Charges service against men who used a submarine to ferry drugs across the Detroit River. Isn't the point of being a smuggler is that you can hide in plain sight, be camouflaged and sneaky? How exactly is a lone submarine, when there aren't any around you, sneaky? Besides, where do you get a submarine? Those things are expensive. I think. Unless he somehow had a free one. Fishing is now allowed, but there are no fish in the water in Australia. So I guess there's three types of fishing. Live bait, live fish fishing, and... Ractus! <laughs> Anybody else notice the German 3 looks a bit like a gun? Canadian tethered to 265 pounds of marijuana found unconscious in Detroit River. Okay, so maybe the submarine was a good idea. A little better than that guy's method. <laughs> Philadelphia Police Union doubles down, selling shirts in support of a cop who got charged with assaulting a protester. Really? First of all, the evidence is all on camera. Second of all, this man's name is hilarious. His name is Officer Baloney. Sounds like their mascot, but he's also full of what his name is. <laughs> I don't really think he's going to get very many shirt sales from anyone who cares. Unless, of course, the clan starts buying in bulk. Which they won't. I think. Drag them down better. <laughs> so these were all the stories I could find for now that were ridiculous and you know something to laugh at hopefully this could entertain you in this time of way too much serious stuff going on stay safe and please spread my show around to keep these uh, subscriber rounds growing because the higher we get the more ridiculous stuff I'll do to say thank you and by the way, thank you for watching. <laughs>